Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and my team is finally complete for what I can do currently. I will show you the final player uh, that I need to officially complete my team, and a couple of guys that I'm looking for to possibly add, but aren't needed to co uh, completely complete my team. So my offensive line is the season's veteran, Debrickashaw Ferguson, Captain Logan Mankins, season's veteran, Dominique Riola. Uh, thir thanks, thir I was trying to I like combine Turkey and Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, uh, Kyle Long and Sebastian Vollmer, BCA. I'm pretty happy with my offensive line. They blow some run, uh, some pass blocks and a couple of runs every game, but not too bad if uh, it's just them five without a halfback. They kind of screw up every once in a while, so I might look to upgrade here, but for now they do the job. Uh, the backups are Nate Soldier, DJ Fluker, uh, or Nate Soldier Base, DJ Fluker Rising Star, Brian Stork Football Outsiders, and the Zach Martin uh, Rising Star. Those are just kind of spread around backing them up. For the tight ends, Seasons Veteran Gates with Mackey as his backup, and then I just have LaFell there because I, I just wanted to fill up the depth chart, but I didn't want to put in players that I didn't need. So I just put in a player that was already in the active roster. So that's why a wide receiver is at tight end for me. Uh, but Des Bryant is the number one wide receiver. Dude's a straight monster, uh, along with Calvin Johnson. Uh, th these two just destroy short corners. It's it's unreal how well they do. Uh, Edelman is my third wide receiver. I considered going just giants out there and getting that Andre Johnson but I didn't pull the trigger when I wanted to. I saw one up for 150, and I thought about pulling the trigger, but I didn't. And now he's like 200, so I'm just going to hold off for a while here. Also thought about that Mike Wallace uh, flashback and also uh, Percy Harvin flashback or BCA to Sean Jackson. But Edelman does the job now. Mostly throw to Dez and Calvin anyway, so don't really need to worry about that. Devin Hester is the fourth wide receiver just simply because uh, when I get four wides out, He's a nice speed burner to go with the two tall guys and the nice kind of route runner, uh, Edelman. So that's why he's out there. If I were to pick up Mike Wallace, Percy Harvin, or Deshaun Jackson, I'd probably put someone else there and just use this Devin Hester and pure kick and punt returning. The only reason I still have him is because I pulled him. If I would have just bought him off the auction, then I wouldn't even worry about keeping him. But I pulled him all the way back on 919, so almost three months ago. So... Uh, pretty, pretty solid with Hester there. Uh, LaFell is the fifth wide receiver. He would probably be slotted up to wide receiver four, uh, if I do get a speed receiver for wide receiver three, um, because he actually plays really good. He plays much better than the 86, I'll be honest, so I'm really okay with having an 86. And then the halfback, Tavon Austin, is the wide receiver. He just kind of fills in all over the place because I'm not, he doesn't start and he's not really the second option anywhere, so... Uh, just rolling with him there. Uh, Steven Jackson flashback is my halfback. Denard Robinson, rising star, is his backup. Jonas Gray is the, the team of the week. Jonas Gray is the third down, but he can also come in and be kind of my bruiser. Uh, if I, if Steven Jackson fumbles, I'll usually throw in Jonas Gray. And then the halfback, Tavon Austin, is the fourth one. Uh, more if I really need a pass catcher or if I have to throw the ball. Uh, usually I'll put in Tavon Austin and send him on a route. Uh, fullback, Tolbert, Austin, and Mackey is down there. The Austin is in there uh, for if I'm doing kind of fullback runs on the opening uh, drive. I'll, I'll, I might put Tavon Austin in there, I'll do a couple fullback dives, or the read option, a um, couple of different read options where kind of the, the, the fullback goes out instead of up the middle, so... That's uh, that's the reason for Austin being there. And then at quarterback, I've got the season's veteran Vic, Football Outsiders Brady. I don't know if I ever covered this, but the Football Outsiders Brady, when I bought it, I bought it when it came out, and I got it for 10 k so uh, that's why I have it. Uh, probably if it would have been any more than like 50 k I wouldn't have bought it. So uh, I got kind of lucky and sniped one. Uh, Rivers is the third quarterback. I just have him there because I like Rivers. But uh, if I put Brady in, I think I go up to a 93 overall. I've just been using Vic as kind of fun, but have that items go away in the top right. It's going to go away. All right, there we go. Yeah, see, it's a 93 now if I put Brady in, uh, but I've been rolling with Vic. Uh, I played a long time with Brady, like a couple of months, like two, 
or three months. So uh, it's nice to just, it would be two months. Yeah, I played like two months with Brady. Uh, but it's it's been fun going back to Vic. Um, I think I might go back to Brady for a season of online, but Vic gets the job done. Uh, his throw stuff isn't terrible, so that's a good thing. The major pickup on defense is I did buy out flashback at reed which this dude's a monster uh, i got the two cards that i really wanted obviously i'm missing legendary darrell revis but nothing i can do about that currently uh, i can't you can't even really complete them uh revis three and revis four uh collectibles are never up revis one revis two and the rookie legend uh will run you somewhere around 450 480 uh so if you could get the other two for cheap you could actually uh, make a nice profit or complete the collection and keep him. But this Ed Reed is nasty. Uh, I was debating me him between him and Steve Atwater. Atwater was 100k less, but uh, Reed is one faster. He's got 10 better catching, which was really the big thing for me. Uh, he's got 94 jumping. Uh, none of that crap really matters. Um, his play rec is a 95, his zone's a 96. I rarely put my free safety free safety in man-to-man. -man. It's not really any problem. Stamina 99 is nice. Uh, his spec catch is 84. He's got 94 hit power, while Atwater has 98, 94, with that real high nice catching is good. Uh, my linebackers are pretty much set. I really like these. Um, you know, obviously, if Lambert or Ray Lewis are che were cheaper, I'd probably get those, but they're pretty darn expensive, and Keekly gets the job done. This Kiko Alonso plays really well. Uh, he's generally my uh, QB spy, opposed to Keekly, but this Kiko plays really well. Uh, his zone coverage, just like the Thomas Davis, is really nice. Uh, they both got 92 zone. Uh, while Kiko's a little bit slower than Thomas Davis, he has better strength and tackling and play rec, block shed, and pursuit. So I usually will bring Kiko on the blitz while dropping Thomas Davis into coverage. And so the only one on my in here that's questionable is this Cam Chancellor. I really have thought about getting rid of him for Eric Berry MVP or Bernard Pollard flashback. I really like that Pollard flashback. Uh, but this uh, Chancellor has, like, no hands. He's got 63 catching. Uh, he rarely intercepts balls for me. But uh, I think he's forced three fumbles uh, in, like, the 12 head-to-head -head games that I played. Uh, recently, I think he's forced three fumbles. Uh, one of one or two of them is questionable because for those games, I had that Earl Thomas to boost the hit power. So I don't even know how well that worked. or I don't, I don't know. But his jumping is nice. He knocks down a lot of balls, but he just can't, he's just got no hands. I wish he could catch better. Uh, my secondary, I really love my secondary. Uh, Woodson, Revis, Cromarty. Uh, still using this Vontae Davis. There's a Football Outsiders one coming out Friday, but I tried to sell him, and then he wouldn't sell, and then I just decided to keep him until I get that Revis. I'll take the hit of coins with the new Vontae Davis coming out and uh, just accept it and live with him for now until I get Revis. This Roby played decent, uh, but not great. Um, he was he was all right, but he, he works for better as the fifth, and then I just bring him on when these guys get tired. And it's much better than having him on the field all the time because he really has some lapses where he does terrible, but no, nothing too crazy. But also, in the depth chart, you can see I got Devin McCourty there. Bradley Roby's up here for the safeties, the third safeties, but Devin McCourty is the free safety backup, while Dion Buchanan is the strong safety backup. I tried to get elite or high overall backup, so if I have to sub them out or if they get injured, I have a decent uh, replacement. Telvin Smith, Football Outsiders, that I pulled out of a single pro pack, and then, what was it, last week? It, or two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, I think, because it was when the Ultimate Packs were out, so I think that was two weeks ago. And so I pulled him in a pro pack, not even in my ultimate packs, uh, but I pulled him in a pro pack, and so I just decided to keep him. He's got pretty good stats uh, for an 87. He has my type of play style, and so I decided to keep him. I already had the 86 Jamie Collins team of the week, so I just held on to him, and he's the backup there. Gerard Mayo is the backup here. I already had him, then Telvin Smith, and then DeAndre Levy, BCA, is the third kind of option on both sides, and then the fourth. Uh, I was asked why I'm running two Will Forks because I just happened to have... I pulled this Will Fork on my farm account, 
and because you can see I traded it over. There's a trade, but I pulled it on my farm account, so I decided to uh, just keep him. And then the season's veteran, I just kept him, and then I've kept this one. And so I just have three will forks. I sold the uh, most feared one for a lot. I sold it for like 15k, which was ridiculous. Uh, that's the only reason I don't have four will forks. But the will fork is nasty. If you look at his stats, they're pretty, they're pretty beastly. Like that play wreck, he just blows up screens. He's just ridiculous. And 99 or high 90 strength, high 90 or low 90s tackle. Tackle really doesn't matter for my D tackles. They tend to make the tackle. Uh, his block shed and power move, which are the two things you really want, are really high. So he plays really well for me. So I just haven't seen a need. Uh, once I get Revis and maybe a couple other cards, I'll, I'll explore the idea of getting a different D-tackle than Will Fork. I've been using this Chandler Jones since he first came out. He's pretty good. Um, I got him on 916, and uh, he's been playing well for me. No need to really sell him or upgrade. He's done perfectly fine, so hold on to him for now. Uh, John Abraham is my left end, the flashback. He plays real well. Uh, the two outside guys are more speed rushers than power, even though they, even though Abraham has power move, he's more of a speed rusher off the outside, as well with Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones is a small guy. Uh, he's more of a speed rusher off the outside. Uh, as backups, I've got the Rising Star, Jadavian Clowney, and Charles Johnson Elite. Uh, Charles Johnson Elite's pretty cheap, so I was able to pick him up for... You know, cheap. So that's the defense. My defense, I'm really proud of my defense. I really like it. Uh, Ed Reed and Charles Woodson have done really well for me. So uh, I have no complaints with those two huge purchases of like 1.8 mil on those cards. But uh, punter, Marquette King, kicker, the ultimate freeze, Blando, which hit a 63 yarder for me. So that was nice. Uh, my kick out is the kickoff starter is the Football Outsiders, uh, Ryan Allen. Uh, third down running back is Jackson, but Tavon Austin and Robinson see action as a third down running back if it's in a passing situation. Stork, Ferguson, and Volmer. Stork is the long snapper because he doesn't start, so uh, to get him out there for a couple plays. Uh, my kick and punt returner is the primetime Hester, obviously. Uh, that's Ted Ginn, Trendon Holiday, uh, the signature Trendon Holiday, Tavon Austin, Halfback and Marquise Goodwin for Football Outsiders. Uh, that's the same on both of them. And they all tend to play pretty well. Devin Hester's... I mean, uh, the returning kicks is a lot better than it used to be, where you could take, like, one per game to the house, which was just annoying. But now um, I had a clutch one with Devin Hester, and that's about the only one I've gotten in head-to-head -head seasons. Uh, but I'll show you guys what coaching equipment and whatnot I'm doing. Uh, I've got that John Men, uh, the one that gives plus one to speed, plus two to excel, and plus three to strength. I'm using the home uh, 2011 Patriots jerseys uh, because when I was doing the Patriot or when I was doing those uniform collections for the badge packs, uh, it was pretty confusing to try to keep what jerseys I want. So I got this for like 2k. So I did that using the Falcons in away. So when I play away. Uh, Vic can be on the Falcons again, I guess, or whatever. These are the two uh, playbooks I've been running. I ran them back last year. I think I even may have ran them in Madden 13. Uh, but it's the Panthers offense because uh, it has a read option. It has option plays. has a bunch of them. And the Patriots defense, just because I know it, I have it pretty much memorized on where I want to go and what I want to do, different coverages and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'm using the like, futuristic stadium. Uh, I kind of wish I would have gotten the military unis, but... Uh, it's no big deal. I'm not going to pay a crap ton for those. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of a long video, but it was just going over my team. I'll obviously have another team update when I get Revis uh, because things may change. Who knows? If I just get Revis, I might wait a little bit before I do another team update. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.